I'm doing color prints today and it is so easy with a Reality K1. Let me show you. I will be printing a lens adapter for my vintage camera. So Philolab has sent me their new strong filaments. Yes, do not repeat my mistake printing crappy adapters from PLA that wear out after a single use. So let's start our color print now by dragging the adapter model to the Creality Print software and slicing the part. The idea is to print a black adapter with an orange ring so it matches with my other cameras. If I click on show G-code, I can look for a layer where I will want to start that orange ring. And layer 14 seems about right. So I'm going to export the G-code and open it in a text editor. Ctrl F and let's search for the layer 14. I will click enter and write pause. Okay, now I want to change the color back to black. And let's do that on the layer 19. Again, I will search for the layer 19. I will write pause under it and I will hit Ctrl S to save. I will open the save G code in the Creality Print now. And now Creality Print shows all pauses I have added. So I can hit send file to the LAN printer. I'm going to select my Creality K1 and I'm going to click send G code. Now I need to load the first color to the printer, which is going to be the black Philolab PCTG filament. I'm going to click the uploaded G code. All settings seem to be correct, so I will hit print. Oh, and look, it paused already. You can see the printer is waiting for me to change the filament. So I'm going to click retract and remove the black filament. I will load the new color in. Click extrude. Remove the old filament it extruded. And I will hit resume printing. And look, the printer is continuing with a new color till it pauses again. Now I will change the filament back to black. And just like that, I just made a multicolor print. And it was so fast on the Creality K1. Supports pops out easily. And I will cut a strand it made on the filament change. Oh yeah, the adapter screws on tight. And it clicks to the camera. This looks so well. And even this Soviet lens is kinda stiff. I need to put some muscle to work the focus ring. There is no play in my new adapter. Oh my god, even the picture looks good. Yeah, I'm more than impressed how well this adapter turned out. And here is a cherry on top. I have printed a matching soft release button. And here I have a PG part on the right. You can see the new PCTG part on the left is way less shiny. Exactly what I needed because I don't want any light leakage or color cast on my photos from the adapter itself. So let's have some more fun with the new filament and let's update my Slime VR trackers with some more colorful cases. Again, I'm going to slice the part. I can click show only a single layer. And I can look now for a layer to switch the color. Layer 7 seems about right. 
So I'm going to click export to local, open the file in the text editor and search for the layer 7. I will write pause under it and click save. I will open modified code in Creality Print again. Yes, the printer will pause on the layer 7. And it turned out really nice. And orange parts, not so much. So I have just noticed that print temperatures depends on the filament color. And I did print these cold only at 255 Celsius, since the white part was from PG. And orange one doesn't even look that bad after cleaning. But my mistake was printing it too hot at 270 Celsius. And after doing some calibration prints, yeah, 255 to 260 Celsius seems like the best temperature for this Philolab PCTG filament on my Creality K1 printer. Just as we recommend it on the package. And by the way, I did print these parts at over three times recommended speeds with no issues on my Creality K1. I think the new cases look much better as we are strong. So yeah, I'm very happy with the results. And my old trackers look a bit rough because the old PLG filament got wet just from sitting in my room. So I keep all my filaments in a vacuum bags now. And Flextail has sent me this vacuum pump. But there is no chance it is going to work with these vacuum bags. So maybe I will take it for camping and inflating air mattresses in summer. But for now, this is it. All links and promo codes are in the video description. Hit that like button if the video was helpful and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.